Hello everyone, in today's session we will be learning a method to find the trigonometric values very easily. So we have a trick called as hand trick where by using the hand trick we can easily find the values of the trigonometric values. This particular trigonometric values it is not only used in your class 10, it is used in class 10, class 11, class 12 as well as it is used in your bachelor degrees also. So it is very important to learn all the values of trigonometric angles. So let's get started and let us learn the trigonometric values very easily. Like I said we are going to use just a hand to find the values of all the trigonometric angles. So first thing is take out your left hand just face the palm towards your face. See we have I have my left hand so just face it towards your face yeah so as you can see in the screen here my little finger is going to be 0 degree and the next finger is 30 degree middle finger is 45 this is 60 degree and the thumb finger is going to be 90 degree yeah can you see that yes it is going to be same now you're going to face your left hand towards your face little finger is going to be 0 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and this thumb finger is your 90 degree. So be clear with this first. First step. Okay. And then your second step is to remember two important formulas here. What are, what are those two important formulas? One, sine is equals to root of fingers below divided by 2. As you can see here the formula sine is equals to root of fingers below divided by 2 and the other formula is cos is equals to root of fingers above divided by 2. These are the two important formulas where it is required to find all the values of your sine, cos and tan. So let's get started. So according to this table, see I have written the degrees here and then you have all the trigonometric functions, sine, cos and tan. So first let me get started with finding the sine 0. I have 0 here and then it is sine. So how is that we are going to find the value for sine 0? Very simple. The formula is sine is equals to root of fingers below by 2. Now take out your left hand. Put it in front of your face. Now like I said this is 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 right so we are going to find the value of sin 0 so fold it now below sin 0 do i have any fingers no i do not have any fingers so it is going to be root 0 by how many fingers do i have below 0 degree i have no fingers so it is 0 therefore it is root 0 by 2 which is 0 yeah clear with that Next one, we are going to find the value of sine 30. Now, take out your left hand again. 0, 30, 45, right? This is your 30. So, close the 30. Now, how many fingers do we have below? I have just one finger. So, it is going to be root 1 by, that is 1 by 2. Now, we are going to learn the value for sine 45. So, how can I find sine 45? Take out your left hand. You have 0, 30, 45. Fold your middle finger that is which shows 45. And then how many fingers do I have below? 1 and 2. So it is going to be root 2 by 2. Root 2 by 2. And when I simplify this, it is going to be 1 by root 2. Either you can follow root 2 by 2 or by simplification you can also find out 1 by root 2. Next one, I am going to find the value for sine 60. Sine 60 is your this finger, fold it up. How many fingers do I have below? 1, 2. So, it is going to be root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2. And then the last one that is sine 90 degree. How can I find sine 90 degree? I said the thumb finger indicates the 90 degree and if I fold that how many fingers do I have below 4 fingers. So it is going to be root 4 by 2. So root 4 by 2, root 4 is nothing but as 2 and 2 by 2 it is going to be 1. See it is very simple right. So we can find the values of all the angles here. Sin 0 is 0, sin 30 is 1 by 2. 
sin 45 is 1 by root 2, sin 60 is root 3 by 2 and sin 90 was 1. Very easy. So using the similar method, I can also find the values of all the cos function also. So it is going to be same procedure, only differences here for sin the formula was root of fingers below by 2. But for cos, the formula is going to be cos is equals to root of fingers above by 2. That is the only difference. Please always remember if I have sign, it is below. You are going to always sign below the page, right? That is how you can remember that. Sign, it is below and for cos, it is above. So, let us get started. I have to find cos 0. Use the same trick. You are going to put your left hand front. Now, 0 degree is this. Cos means it is above. So, how many fingers do I have above? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it is going to be root 4 by 2 and root 4 is 2. 2 by 2, it is 1. And now, I am going to find the value of cos 30. Which is your 30? This one. Fold it. How many fingers do I have above? 1, 2, 3. So, it is going to be root 3 by 2. And then I have to find the value of cos 45. Cos 45 is your middle finger. How many fingers do I have above? It is 1 and 2. Root 2 by 2 and when I simplify, it is going to be 1 by root 2. And then I have to find the value of cos 60 degree. What is cos 60 for your finger? How many fingers do I have above? It is just 1. Therefore, Which is 1 by 2. And the last one that is cos 90 degree. Which is 90. Do I have any fingers above this thumb? No, I do not have any fingers. So, it is going to be root 0 by 2 which is 0. See, very easy. We can easily find the values of sine and cos. And now we have to find the values of tan. How is that we are going to do? Very simple. The formula for tan, right? What is the formula to find tan using sine and cos? It is sine by cos. Tan is equals to sine by cos. Very simple. We are going to make use of this formula and find all the values of tan also. So, what will be tan 0? It is sine 0 divided by cos 0. What is 0 divided by 1? 0 divided by 1 which is 0 only. Yeah. Next. Sin 30 divided by cos 30. Sin 30 divided by cos 30. I can cancel 2 and 2 and the remaining is 1 by root. Very simple. Right? And that. Now I am going to find the value of 45. So, how can I find the value of tan 45? It is sin 45 divided by cos 45. 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2. So, when I do that, it is going to be very simple. I can cancel all the terms. It is just 1. It is 1. Alright. Then, let us find the next one that is 60. How can I find tan 60? Very simple. Sin 60 divided by cos 60. Sin 60 is root 3 by 2. Whole divided by 1 by 2. I can cancel 2 and 2 here. So, the final answer is going to be root. Yes, the last one. We are going to find the value of tan 90. Tan 90 is nothing but as sin 90 divided by cos 90. Sin 90 is 1 and cos 90 is 0. What is 1 divided by 0? It is undefined. So, I am going to write it as undefined. Yes. And thus, we have found all the values of sin, cos, tan. Very easy. And this is how we can remember all the values of trigonometric angles.